This is Module 3, Review Homework, Side 1. We are reviewing multiplication and division with units of 0, 1, 6 through 9, and 10. Number 1. The carnival in town is in town for 14 days. How many weeks is the carnival in town? It's telling me there are seven days in a week. Write an equation and solve. So I know that the carnival is going to be in town for a total of 14 days. There are seven days in a week. So that gives me seven days in a week. I'm missing how many weeks they're going to be in town. So I am going to do a division problem to figure that out. 14 divided by 7 equals W for how many weeks they will be in town. I can count by 7 to get to 14. 7, 14. That is 2. They will be in town for 2 weeks. Number two, a total of 32 liters of lemonade are needed for the refreshment booths at the carnival every day. The salesman sells containers of lemonade that hold eight liters each. How many containers are needed every day? Represent the problem using multiplication and division sentences and a letter for the unknown. When I look at my problem, I know I need 32 liters, and my containers come in 8 liters. I can see that I have the total, and that I have one of the parts. So I can do my division sentence first. 38, sorry about that, 32, divided by 8 is going to give me C, the containers I need. Next, I already know 32 is my total, so for my multiplication problem, I'm going to put that at the, at the end. I know that the container can hold 8 liters each. I see that word each. Each tells me that I need to have the size, so I'm missing the groups. So I have C times 3 equals 32. I need to now solve, oops, not C times 3, C times 8 equals 32. So I now need to solve to find the problem. So I'm going to do a number bond to help me divide by 8s. And I'm going to break that 32 apart. I'm going to break it apart into a 16 divided by 8. And then I can figure out how much I have left over. 32 minus 16. I need to do some regrouping. 12 minus 6 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. Oh, I have 16 left over. So I'm going to solve 16 divided by 8 twice. I'm going to start with counting by 2s to see if I can get to 16 8 times. 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, that does get me to eight or to um, eight fingers sticking out. So I know 16 divided by eight is two, which means 16 divided by eight would be two. I can add those twos together and figure out that C equals four. They're going to need four containers every day. Number three. People fill up three rows of six chairs at the flying trapeze show. That's what these black dots are for. The show is so popular that double the number of pe people come to the second show. So that's showing the black and the gray dots. The array of filled seats for the second show are shown below. Explain and label to show how the array represents both 6 times 6, and 2 times 3 times 6. 
When I look at the array, I can see I have a row of one, two, three, four, five, six. In each of my columns, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So my entire array is modeling six times six. I'm now going to look at the separate colors. When I look at this row of colors, I can see that I have, again, still three rows. And now instead of having six or instead of having six rows, I have three rows, but I still have six in each row. On the bottom portion, I have three rows with six in each row. So I'm going to show that I have to multiply. So I just wrote I have to multiply three times six two times. That's where the extra two in the word problem in the number sentence comes from because I have to multiply three times six two times. That's where the double also implies two times and that's what's going to give me the answer for six times six.